Hey guys, my name is Natasha Baxter and welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I created this situation, um, please continue watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, so first off, I'm going to chime with my baby skin instant poi. It is from Maybelline. Okay. Uh. Yes, you should be gentle with your skin, not like me that's pulling. Like, I don't know, people pet. I don't know. Okay, so I had to get my hair out the way. Um, I will be using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley. But this shade is neutral buff and it's a bit pale. I'm a pale person, but I got a tan. So I went and got a sample. And the sample is classic tan and it's about two shades darker than neutral buff and I'll be using that today to do my fans. So because the foundation came in a little sample pot, I will be using an earbud slash cotton swab like some of y'all say. I don't know why y'all say that but yeah. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. So I'm just going to blend this in with a sponge. Um, I usually use my oval brush, but yeah, it's not what's in the reaching distance, so I'm using what's closest to me. Yeah, so this shade, that's Classic Tan, looks like a better match for me right now because it's been hot and the weather done made me more tan. Um, if you look at my forehead and it looks a bit ashy, that's because my forehead is darker than the rest of my face, which is fun. Um, no, I don't know how to fix that. I usually just bronze my forehead more so that I don't look crazy. Be concealing with my Fit okay. with my Fit Me by Maybelline. Um, this is in the shade 20. It's a bit light for me, but it, it doesn't matter to me. I don't know how to. I'm just going to dot this under my eye. Usually I swipe but I don't know I just started doing dots and it, I like it more so I'm doing it. And it looks really nice. So when you're working under the eye you're supposed to be really gentle. Don't tug at the skin because you'll get premature wrinkles. And all of that stuff that we don't need in our 20s, thank you very much. Just make sure everything blends. I look really dewy, that's the size. To the people who actually use NYX foundation, you all know what's happening right now. It's just really hot in this room. Um, and I'm, my natural oils are doing things here. That's what you're seeing, but it won't move apart. So, yeah, should have actually done here as well. I usually conceal here, like in the crevices of my lips. <sighs> okay. Okay, then. So, I didn't conceal my brows. So, I'm going to do that with a concealer brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of the same concealer. Halato. You know what I'm trying to say. But I'm just going to do underneath my brows because I feel like if I do it on top that it makes that separation and I don't want like a white line above my, my brows. That's, that's not attractive. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm going to set everything with my Yardley Absolute Translucent Loose Powder, suitable for all skin tones, this one. Um, so when I was in this game, I looked at this powder and I was like, that can't be the powder because this translucent powder is white. Then I went into clicks and I asked someone and they directed me to this exact powder. So yeah, guys, all the powder just like fell down. Um, yeah. I'm not going to bake with this powder, I'm just going to set everything. Um, it's probably going to just minimalize all that shine that I was getting. Yes, it has, it literally did. Um, just set my nose, my forehead and my chin. Yeah. 
across. Just to make sure that nothing moves. I'm not going anywhere, but for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna bake. I mean, sit. Not bake. Okay, so I'm going to bronze with my Ofira 3D Pyramid Egyptian Clay Bronzer. And I'm going to use these. These ones, these ones right here, yeah. With the same brush because, again, okay. Circular motion. This stuff smells really nice. It smells edible. Now for some reason, when I bronze on this side of the face, I don't know if it's because I can't really see what's happening here, but my bronze always looks crazy on the side. I used to just bronze like all day and I could never see a difference um, and then I you know watched more YouTube videos and people be bringing it all the way down here and I was like ew that's how you do that okay I'm going to like cut this part with the translucent powder and my sponge okay now now I need to do my forehead but I need my mirror for this because sometimes okay life gets hectic you know like sometimes you bronze and then it leaves like that that line that you don't want because you look crazy ain't nobody want to look crazy okay circular motions just so that the forehead doesn't look ashy and then I'm going to take that same bronzer and go alongside my nails to snatch my nails. Okay, sauce. Your nose has to, your nose has to look like you're like trying to smell some. That's, that's the trick, guys. That's my trick. What did I hear that from someone? I probably heard that from someone and I'm just like saying it's mine. But I think Jamie Genevieve said that. I think so. I think she said it. Yeah. She's my fave, guys. If you don't follow her on social media, or if you're not subscribed, go do that. Go do that right now. Yes. Or like after the video. Do that after the video. Yeah. Yeah. That looks okay. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to take my sponge that is a bitchy dirty. Um, take some powder. <gasps> take some powder and cut. We're gonna cut. We're not gonna bake. We're just gonna cut this thing over here to make the jaw look a little bit higher than it actually is. Another take I learned from Jamie Genevieve. As well as um, Jackie Aina. Yes, she is another fave. Um, yeah. Am I shiny again? That's just my natural glue. <laughs> okay. I'm actually gonna take a different brush. Um, and then you're just gonna wipe that off. I don't know if you can see a difference. I probably should have left it on longer. Yeah, I should have left it on longer. But it's okay, it's all right, it's okay, you're gonna do it anyway. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. It is this one. Um, and this is the Life on the Dance Floor guest list palette. And she'll show you what she looks like when I open her. Oh my gosh, that is her. Look at her shine. So I zoomed you in a little. I know you didn't ask for it, but yes. So I'm going to be using ugh, the burgundy shades, like majority of the burgundy shades. And then where's the browns? And the browns at the bottom. So yeah, this is a kid radio with me, guys. This isn't a tutorial. <laughs> I don't know why I've been teaching you so far. Um, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I usually just do circular motions. Um, I'll do the occasional sweep, but I don't do that, like, 
too often because in a case like that harsh line yeah like i'll sweep here in the inner part of my eye is that what it's called the inner part of your eyeball you are we are doing eyes i'm gonna go in with this color going in with a burgundy shade just to deepen up the crease Nookie dookie. Oh, I shall take... Should I do a purple? Should I do a purple and just be like random? Yeah, I'll do a purple. I'm taking purple, I changed my mind. Now that blends in with it, doesn't it? I don't experience um, f fallout with these eyeshadows. But if you do like dig into... Ooh, there's a crease there. If you do dig into the palette, I love how I said I don't experience fallout and then I get fallout. I take that back. Was that a bad choice? That was a bad choice. We're gonna follow through with it. I made a mistake. I'm going in with burgundy. Made a mistake. If you make mistakes, you fix them. That's what makeup is for. Makeup's not permanent. I feel like I'm making weird faces. Oh, wow. I forgot the color I was using. Oh. Burgundy. Make it really dark. Make yourself look a little scary. Scariness. Okay. What's my thing? The thing, the thing. Just gonna buff that out i don't know why i just want to buff you dangerous oh. so i'm going in with my essence super cool volume mascara um it does not do what it claims to do on my eyelashes i just want to say that um it is not my favorite but i bought it so i will use it until it is finished yes thank you <laughs> here's the thing there's so much powder on my on my mirror i can't really see i will get rid of that fallout on my face i should probably do that now but i'm doing my lashes I will not be putting on falsies because I actually have no idea how to put on falsies. I tried it once, it took me like 7 tries and even after I applied it, I didn't look great. I'm going to do my lips with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love the lip creams. This is in London. So, I don't know, I didn't show it. This is what it looked like. Okay. I'm going to be highlighting with my Ofra Mini Dodeo Dryer. Yeah. That's a refill pan, guys. Don't judge me. Look, it's tiny. It's a tiny little thing. I really like this highlighter. It's nice. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, my nose is itching. Lord, let it not be stroby. Okay, 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 my brush is actually still wet from when I washed it, that is a lot, but it's fine, okay, 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 again guys, my brush is wet, hence the hecticness of this highlight. Like, she was not meant to be this potent. She was never meant to be this strong. Oof, that's, that's a lot. I want to put a little bit on my nose. I barely had any. Yes. Bambi. Okay. 
Can you see that? Hmm. If anyone was expecting me to show them how to dull down a highlighter, y'all were wrong. Um, this is a lot. I don't know if it's just because there's lighting here. Um, but, yeah. Just uh, do the things, get the tempo, get the news. I'm going to do the inner corner of my eyes. Of my eyes. That is a lot. I cannot see. I really cannot see. Can you see that? Just like a dot. Dot it. We're going in with my Makeup Revolution Pure Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray, which is this bottle over here. And it gives that nice shiny look. So I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay, that's a bit, it's a bit much. Okay guys, so this is my completed look. I hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, the highlighting is a bit much, but it's okay, because I'm not going anywhere and nobody's gonna think I'm crazy. So yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye.